Welcome back, or welcome if you're new. Let's get right into it. Walmart Christmas. Uh, grab your favorite drink and possibly a snack, because there's a lot to look at, everybody. <laughs> Upon entering, they had some beautiful wreaths. The one thing I love about Walmart is the prices are nice and big, so I don't have to try to uh, you know, pick things up, turn them around. That can get very awkward. <laughs> Um, so anyway, my Texas house, a beautiful line, no matter what your taste may be. Pretty detail on this deer, right? So, so pretty. All the beautiful bows um, and just the colors, the neutral colors are so, so pretty. And I think it could make um, such a elegant statement when you stick with the neutrals. Although I have to have pops of red uh, for Christmas. I just have to. But I do love the neutrals as well. but it's also a good thing, right? The variety. I'm so amazed also at all the colors nowadays. By the way, I loved this little six foot garland because um, I can only have a small tree, and that would actually be really pretty in my tree. But um, it's amazing all the different colors, like the maroons. I mean, they've been around for a while, but now you have like dark blues and blacks. I don't think I'd ever choose black, but uh, maybe in the right setting it could look okay. But um, I like the traditional colors. But, you know, my point being is it's, I, I'm just amazed at how, how things have come along and how, um, many colors have been added to um, Christmas, you know, any theme you want to do, any color you want to use, it's just endless. All the options, right? How cute is that Santa? They had a couple cute signs as well. I've gotten to like these trees as well and all it all depends how you display them. They can look um, elevated, you know what I mean? They can have that look to them. Don't remember who I was watching. Uh, actually, I do like this sign coming up. But I did agree with her on this picture down below with the reindeer. If they made it black, I think it would have been um, something I would have been interested in. I don't do any blue for Christmas. I don't do blue really at all except maybe in the summer. But I think that would be nice. I think they should do black next time or brown. <laughs> just, just saying.
Actually, I think there's a picture coming up that has the brown deer, which I kind of liked. I like that one a lot better than the blue. I thought these acorns were cute, and the squirrel, um, I'm going to show you in a minute, was very cute. I'm not into squirrels, but it was very cute. It's up top after these lanterns. I always love the gold reindeer, don't you? So elegant looking. Liked these too. Love the churches. They're just plain and simple, but make a little statement about Christmas, don't you think? Yep. A ton of picks coming up. Um, I, I wish I could have grabbed a bunch, but I have no idea what I need, what I want but the variety was sure there, and inexpensive too. I loved all the tree toppers. I think I usually use a bow on mine. It's very sm a small tree, like four feet. Um, but some of these are really pretty. I might have to switch it out this year. How cute is that wreath for your door? I got a charge out of that. I'm thinking when I saw these poinsettias, just like with the mums, uh, why buy real ones when you can have these and they look nice and real? Uh, I know people were buying mums off Amazon, same thing, but the price was inexpensive and they look pretty, you know, and you don't have to worry about them dying. I loved these, by the way. So just an idea, you know, instead of buying the real ones. These were some pretty um, and also good sized wreaths. If 
you're into snow globes, I know some people collect them. I liked this little one with the owls. Of course, the cardinals are always a favorite too, but I thought that was pretty as well. love this church. I love the gold. It looks so pretty. And then if you like things more colorful, they had that too. Bows bows and more bows. Wait till you see. I told you they had a lot of bows. Also, the ribbon was beautiful. If you're still with me, thank you. <laughs> I know they have a lot, right? If you haven't been, I'm telling you. This will give you a pretty good idea of what they have. And like I said, I think I am late in the game. A lot of ladies have already filmed this, but maybe there's some of you who haven't been there yet. Also talk about being traditional or not traditional. I mean, you have your choice of many different colors.
So I love how they have the matching tree skirt to the stockings. Thought that was cute. It's funny, as I'm filming down the aisles, it just seemed to keep going and going. I actually had to edit some out. I'm so sorry, but the video would have been over a half an hour. Um, so I tried to get the things that I thought would be most important to you guys. Garland galore. Flocked, or not flocked. And this was in the back section, some stockings, and I'll just show you a, um, a little bit of the trees that they had on display as well. So I hope you liked um, shopping with me at Walmart. I don't come here too often. There's another town in the other direction. Uh, I shop there quite a bit where they have Home Goods and Home Sense and TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I could not believe all the things that they had. I was overwhelmed. And I wish I kind of knew like what I wanted. It's early for me and unfortunately, we can only fit a very small tree in my family room. Um, if you know my setup, there's just really no space. Uh, so I only got one thing, really two things. Um, Cause I, I don't know what I have, I don't remember. I got two of these for $4.98. Uh, when they first came out, I said, oh, those are, I don't know if I like those. Are they kind of ugly or what? But I kind of like them. And these bend a little bit, you know, can form them a little bit more. And um, I don't know, I like, that they're a little bit rustic. Um, I think they could look elegant in a certain setting, uh, depending on how you, you know, set them up. These were $4.98. They had smaller ones for $3.98. I don't even think I saw the small ones, but I don't know, there's something about them. I don't know. So anyway, that was my only purchase. I got two of those. Anyway, I've gotten a lot of new subscribers. Thank you so much. I obviously still consider myself a small channel, so I keep growing, which is, that, that's a good thing. Uh, so anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Hope to see you soon. See you later.